Today I'm going to show you how to create this realistic looking gold texture for your text. It's super quick and easy to create so let's just jump straight in. Here I have a 1920 by 1080 composition with my text all ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new composition. Let's call this gold texture. Okay. And let's add a solid layer, solid. Okay. And then let's go to layer, layer styles and gradient overlay. Drop this down, edit gradient. And in here, I'm just going to create a selection randomly through my gradient of different oranges and yellows, essentially anything that can be and will be found in gold. And that looks like it should be just about there. Click OK. And then I'm just going to change the angle so that the gradient is moving from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. So around here. And then up in our projects panel with our gold texture, we're just going to drag this into a new composition. And let's just call that gold texture animation. And then in here, I'm going to scale that down to roughly 20%. And then in our effects and presets, I'm going to search for motion tile and bring this on. And then I'm just going to increase the output width and the output height until it is filling our composition. So roughly there and click mirror edges. I can see that we've got a bit of green going here. So I'm just going to go back to our texture layer and just change that first color so it's less green, a bit more orange. And that's looking much better. So now we're going to back up in our effects. We're going to make a keyframe for the tile center, go to the end of our composition or animation, and then move it along to the right. Then go back to the start. I might shift that to the left, just so when we play this through, it is moving from left to right. And if we now go back to our main composition where our text is and bring in that animation composition into that main composition. And on that layer, under the track mat, let's select our gold text. It still looks very flat and boring, so there's a few things we need to do. And the first is to find the effect CC glass and bring this on to our animation texture. And if we drop down surface for the bump map, we want to select our text. So our gold text for me. And straight away, you will see these sort of highlights and bevels on our text. And that is what we're after. And we can adjust this slightly. So the softness is just that as the softness of the bevel. So I might up this slightly to say 25. And then the height I might bring down to, let's say 15. Yep, that's fine. And there's one more effect we're going to add to this layer, and that is blobby lies or blobby lies. I think it's blobby lies. I'm not sure. Either way, it's quite fun to say. So if we search for blobby lies, let's drag this on. And again, if we drop this down and go to our blob layer, select our text. And then under property, let's just pick alpha. And let's just do the same for our CC class quickly. Select alpha. The settings on this effect don't need too much adjustment as it already looks much better, but I might just increase the softness to, let's say 25, and maybe bring the cutaway down to 20. No, that was better before, so I'm going to put that back to 25. And there we have the base of our gold texture, but it is now time to take it to the next level. So let's drag this composition into a new composition and I'm going to duplicate our gold text layer. And then in the effects and presets, I'm going to search for extract and bring that onto that top layer and just solo this so we can just see that one layer for now. And then up here, what we want to do is bring these points in to the middle so we can only just see some of the highlights. You can kind of see where this needs to be based on these raised sort of graph like lines. And we just want to be left with these kind of highlights across our text. And if we now unsolo this layer and in the blended mode, we can select add. And there we have some super shiny highlights. And I think they are a bit too, bit too thin. So I'm just going to drag out 
our extraction slightly. Yeah, and that's looking much better. What we can do now is if we again duplicate this top layer, we can just solo this for now. And let's bring in this extraction even more so we're getting even less highlights. So it's about here. And then let's search for the effect directional blur. Let's bring this on to our layer and really up this blur length quite high to maybe 100. It might be too much, but let's see how that looks. We can unsolo this and change the blending mode from add to lighten. Yep, that blur might be a bit too much, so let's bring it down to 70. Let's just bring the extraction out slightly just so we get a few more. Yeah, it's not too bad. So now we're getting these sort of like highlights. And if we duplicate that one final time, and then on that duplicated layer, change our direction to 90 degrees. And there we have some nice shiny reflections across our text. And the beauty of this is we can go back to our gold texture or our gold texture animation. And I'm just going to up the scale to 50%, go back to our gold text too, and you'll see that our reflections are completely different. So we can go back into that, we can change the color, we can change the, the shape or the pattern, we can do whatever we want in there, and it all updates in here with what we've already done. So that's really easy to update. And we can also go back to our gold text, and we can change our text and it all updates again in our main composition. And there we have it. Please let me know in the comments if you found that useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.